One West Lafayette family's Christmas wish is about to come true. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner explains how the Wolf family is soon going to be whole again. It's a smile Megan and Ben Wolf couldn't leave behind. They discovered Eden at a Kenyan hospital in 2009 when she was just a baby when they were living there for Ben's job. She had been abandoned by her mother. I worked with her at the hospital and then we were granted custody and guardianship and she was able to come to our home in Kenya at that time. Megan and son Andy returned to West Lafayette earlier this year when she found out she was pregnant. But Ben stayed behind in Kenya because Eden wasn't allowed back into the United States. She really likes animals. She's very sweet, very smart. And finally, some good news for the very sweet and smart three-year-old. Thanks to the efforts of many, including Representative Todd Rokita, Eden was fast-tracked for a humanitarian visa. They've been very helpful in just um, keeping track of our case, um, encouraging us to continue when we were denied originally for the visitor's visa. The new humanitarian visa allows Eden to live here for six months. We're hoping we can make a trip to Disney at some point while we're here. From a Kenyan hospital to Mickey Mouse, that's a Christmas wish worth savoring. Reporting in West Lafayette, Brittany Tyner, News Channel 18. Ben and Eden are hoping to return to the U.S. during the first week of January. The family hopes to finalize Eden's official adoption next week in Kenya. When the humanitarian visa expires, the Wolves will have to live abroad for one to two years before they can apply for U.S. immigration.